so uh, there was a sudden announcement that came uh, i think uh, two days ago the minister of parliamentary affairs put out a statement saying there'll be a five day special session starting from the 18th if i'm not wrong 17th 18th something um, for five days that was it that was the statement he put out a picture with it which showed both parliaments uh, old and new right uh, and that's it then after that basically they left everything to speculation um simultaneously there was another story happening which was adani story but there are many videos done on that i think you can take a look for news laundry ravish has done like a series of those uh, i think deshbhakt has done them as well so please take a look and also read the reports in the guardian and other newspapers i'm not talking about that right now uh, the the theories that are now floating around are one ucc ki wo log ucc lane wale hai uniform civil code second theory that came up is uh, you know early elections that they are going to prepone the elections general elections that are going to happen the third theory that came was one nation one election uh, they are going to bring in a bill to turn into to basically introduce one nation one election right so uh, first uh, it's really sad that we are in this situation where in a parliament they are announcing a session without giving us any agenda and we citizens are left to basically just guess kyunki wahi wahi baith ke humko chutiyap karna hai abhi basically ki tum log guess karte raho hum kya karne wale hum layenge last minute mein ghusa denge and then you deal with it and that's the ghusa denge worst. pass kar denge voice vote se exactly. protest jo karega usko jail mein dal denge aur fir tumko bolenge ki meri tapasya mein koi kami reh gayi ho exactly exactly and and that is the worst thing that you can think of but uh, that is the larger sort of meta commentary on that uh vimo any meta commentary on this i just did <laughs> <laughs> thank you very this is only going to end in one place one nation one erection <laughs> thanks okay so uh, focusing on the one nation one election thing you remember this right vimo i think we spoke about this uh, ucc when it came up right uniform civil code uh, bill hai nahi kuch kuch diya hi nahi like aise like you know in marathi they say ki pillu sodun deta uh, in all the taranga pointed out that uh, there is uh, a draft that they put out for feedback from feminist organizations and that feedback was also given ucc ka yeah oh i did i'll share it with you i'll share it with oh, you oh okay sure for 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 specifically feminist organizations no no the draft was put out but the feedback was from feminist organizations and some others i i myself have not gone through it completely oh, i'll okay. share it with you fair enough fair enough but but you know what happens uh, we know about this uh, like i saw this with the data protection bill as well mm. where shri krishna committee comes up with a draft uh, then i mean in the last video also i've mentioned this uh, they change it jpc pe jata hai wo change karte government ko acha nahi lagta wo repeal kar dete 3 months later they bring in their own bill so like last consultation kya pata kya hua uska kuch nahi hua just we just wanted one bill that we wanted and then that is here so and that has happened multiple times in the last 10 years so i don't i don't really trust these drafts anymore mm. the funny thing is when i asked so when they said that data protection bill is coming i asked on one of the policy groups that i'm a part of it does anyone have a draft i got four drafts from different places like tech people shared one um, policy people shared one mpk office se ek aaya aur ek kahin aur se aa gaya and i'm like ye kya ho raha hai matlab what is this like kaun sa draft kya it's hmm. it's very bizarre but please share it with me maybe i will uh, maybe it's one of those maybe but yeah. uh, you take a look and you i'll yeah. i'll share it with you so one nation one election basically the idea is that there will be one election on a national level and all state assemblies will be simultaneously dissolved to also have state elections on the same same Basically, getting rid of states, state governments. Essentially, getting rid of state elections, quote unquote. I mean, that's the meta commentary that I want from you as well. But uh, the idea there is that they are going to just do all the elections at the same time. The reasons they are giving is elections करने का पैसा बचेगा, right? And the second reason is कि model code of conduct लग जाता है elections में, so we can't do any work, right? That those are the two broad sort of their arguments, right? Demo, no, every part of it is like reeks of deception, right? The committee that they built does not have 
any significant opposition presence mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it is full of amit shah for some reason who is not a constitutional expert or mm-hmm. a lawman or or a legal mind mm-hmm. uh, the law minister is not part of it mm-hmm. there is there are a couple of lawyers in it who have clear ties to the bjp uh, or at least have been at some point of time in the near past been uh, close to the bjp in all their affairs uh, and then there is the uh, you know visible issue of them dissolving state assemblies yeah their yeah. biggest problem is state governments yeah. state governments from opposition parties have come together and created an an, an alliance and increasingly stats are showing that the uh, popularity of this india alliance is increasing mm. this is a transparent attempt at manipulating uh, elections through an organization which is election commission which is already under the scanner by the supreme court absolutely and there was talk recently that if it becomes inevitable that the guy who's in charge of it is going to be dropped by the supreme court as mm. most likely is going to happen they're going to create another body which is going to be on top of cbi and ed and put him in charge of that mm. Mm. it's 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 besharmi max level isse upar koi ja nahi sakta so all correct what you said i think you covered a lot of things i wanted to say but i also wanted to add a few things one is uh, like you know it has come to a point where you can also anticipate what sort of uh, you know sales points they are going to give for this and i just want to like preemptively counter it uh because i know this is going to happen because i've read the niti ayog report and i've read what what they are planning to do um and i gave you two reasons that they're already giving um you know the thing is uh it's a big advantage for national parties to have simultaneous elections because i think people don't understand what is happening here based on uh, the size of the party right ek to electoral bonds ki wajah se bjp has like a giant amount of budget to do campaigning right so they they are able to uh, do massive campaigns both on the national level and state level right Uh, the other parties regional parties even in their state they have very tiny budgets right so they do their campaign in their states like that is what we are doing right now what the status is right now um modi ji flies everywhere uh, in all states uh, yogi ji flies everywhere in all states amit shah flies everywhere in all states because they have the budget to do it right and sometimes kuch to inaugurate kar dete aur ek speech bhi de dete to fir government hi kharcha kar leta hai unka so what happens is that if you do an election which is simultaneous regional parties which have this tiny budget are essentially fighting a national election which was a state election like for example in your state memo bjd right bjd all well and good navin patnaik very popular all the things but last election mein uski bhi thodi si lagi padi hai right uh, the thing is that this man with this tiny party will now have to fight a national election which the bjp will decide because they have mm. the money they mm. will pour it everywhere they can ads dalenge sab kuch so basically it's big disadvantage for regional parties right which is budget wise just pure money wise do you think since you said it is going to be an advantage for uh, national parties do you think isme koi advantage hai for a party like congress so there is the thing so like national parties when i say it right so national parties congress definitely has an advantage because it is also a national party right hmm. it has multiple state government so it is also a bit of an advantage for them but it's for a second reason not money budget to bjp advantage but for hmm. both national parties uh, there is one more advantage uh, which is narratives so there is one complaint the second complaint that they did was moral model code of conduct lag jata hai to kaam nahi hota right but that is a problem only for national parties because modi ji goes everywhere yeah. right so he doesn't work i mean not like tamil nadu mein election ho raha hai so people in haryana don't give a shit like it's not like their work is stopping their government is doing the model code of conduct also right the national government is actually the one who is implementing the model code of conduct when they are not even asked to do it yeah like, gas prices badhana rok denge because mm. they want to win the election like pri- petrol prices pe kuch to bhi kar denge right kuch to subsidy announce kar denge nationally whatever right so it's a national party problem the model code of conduct because they are the ones who are fighting elections in multiple places mm. they are the ones who can't work mm. regional parties can wa- this be challenged in the supreme court that is what i will have to see because the bill is yet to come right so okay. then that is another thing which will come, come i'll come to that right so narratively if you are thinking about it uh, even the congress is at an advantage right because think about it when when an election happens in odisha 
uh, the the issues that are raised are very odisha specific right and they're raised in odia hmm. a lot of people use their local language and culture to raise their issues if a national and state election is happening simultaneously there is one narrative which the national party will do right and it fits everywhere so then it's a national election so regional yeah. problems kon khada karega like it's like bjd is talking about regional issues but modi ji and congress is talking about larger national issues all the time the one of the one of the questions that comes to my mind is that they have tried this before they have tried to win state elections by raising yeah. national issues and it has not worked for it them it hasn't worked for them so is this a movement that is this a thing that they're doing out of desperation i think it is um again i don't know if it's a movie at all so right by the way um, it's just speculation at this point but if mm. they are if they are um i think it's not desperation i think this has been in the works for a while because mm. i remember the first time i heard mention of this was by pranab mukherjee in 2015 see here's the thing i'm saying that in the recent times in the last 2 years or so they have lost multiple state elections by making national issues the focus point sure so could a decision that was made in 2015 hmm. now be something that they should not go ahead with common sense wise but they still are having to go ahead with because they have no other option um again i it it will go into speculative territory but you might be right you know like i yeah. mean this might be I one i think i think i think this is one of the things that definitely needs to be taken into consideration just because the also, bjp is bring, just, doing something hmm. we should not automatically fall into the trap of thinking that it's a master stroke they might be doing it out of desperation also but one thing i want to say uh, it has all the elements of a like a modi move right you know which yeah, is like shock yeah. and awe yeah. right you know like kuch to badhiya change they are good at that they are good at yeah, yeah. so then they, they will sell it well they will they will shock everyone everyone will start talking about just that which is exactly what is happening for the last 3 days where everybody That's why they announced it on the day that India was having its uh, meeting in Mumbai. Meeting it was happening the, the Adani report had come so it's it's nice no like it's a, like a like a nice shock and awe sort of moment for them. Um the uh, and of course BJP is all about big moves so uh, this can count uh, as a, as a very big move. Um but you know the details so like even Manu is asking can it be uh, can't can't Supreme Court stop it? um one thing i want to point out uh, is that there is this law commission uh, report uh, law ministry has given their response to this and this is two things one is that this will require consensus from all states right or let I me mean, like, ratify karne ke liye to half lagega but like there should be an attempt to make get consensus from all state governments do you think do you and think it second, is better to say that it should require consensus consensus from all it states it will though i mean that's the thing as in how so, they will not be able to pass it without state consensus so half of the states have to ratify it if you make a change in the constitution to such a scale half of the states will have to ratify it right so okay. that is one thing that they have to do right um plus division vote karna padega dono houses mein rajya sabha mein kya hoga abhi bhi pata nahi hai right so there is there is a little uh ye there uh, dissonance there but the mm. other thing is the second thing uh, which which they also said they have to do is you have to also take all political parties into consideration and have discussions and talk to them now as you pointed out the committee that they have made kon hai usme उसने उन्होंने अधीर रंजन चौधरी को डालने की कोशिश की जो आज सुबह निकल गए उनके आज क्या कल ही निकल गए थे उसके अंदर से या इट्स इट्स रिडिक्युलस राइट एंड सो इट्स 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 अ बिट ऑफ अ शिट शो इट्स इट्स अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग टू वॉच बट माय ओवरऑल थियरी हियर इज दैट दे विल नॉट डू दिस फॉर वन वेरी सिंपल रीजन 2026 में डीलिमिटेशन फ्रीज हटने वाला है डीलिमिटेशन इज व्हेन यू कैन एक्चुअली रेज पार्लियामेंट सीट्स अभी तक देर इज अ फ्रीज यू कांट रेज पार्लियामेंट सीट्स फॉर फिफ्टी ईयर्स फॉर द लास्ट फिफ्टी ईयर्स वी हैड दिस फ्रीज राइट प्रपोर्शनेटली अकॉर्डिंग टू आर पॉपुलेशन आर सीट्स हैवेंट इंक्रीज इन द लोकसभा राइट सो लाइक एट 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 इज द न्यू नंबर दैट दैट वी माइट गेट फॉर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लाइक एवरेज आउट ऑल द पीपल टेक इन टू ऑल द माइग्रेशन माइग्रेशन इन टू अकाउंट बट द फनी थिंग इज दे हैवेंट इन द सेंसेस येट also right so they they are supposed to do a 10 year census covid ke naam pe to kiya nahi but then covid hone ke baad bhi kiya nahi right so my theory like a very large theory yahan pe is that they will do all of this together they will do delimitation freeze hatega 
they will do census and one nation election uh, that is the ideal perfect storm to do something like this right and it it will be sold that way as well like it's like a reset on a massive scale but again i, I think unka bahut bada plan tha like they had a larger plan ki is saal mein ye karenge is saal mein ye karenge ca laenge and nrc karenge and they had made all these fond plans under the impression that nobody will oppose them because nobody can oppose them because they have full majority yeah but the mm-hmm. ca protest kind of also the farmers protest schedule bigad diya farmers protest ca protest ye sara protest unka schedule bigad diya yeah, yeah, yeah. the thing that they're doing right now should have been happening much more frictionlessly mm, than mm, they anticipated mm. if the plan for this was in 2015 i'm sure they were hoping ki is saal mein hoga is saal mein hoga is saal mein ka thak 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 perfect plan is saal mein sab kuch settle ho chuka hoga yeah, yeah, yeah. but i don't think it's going according to their plan and that yeah. is really what is pissing them off and causing them to make desperate decisions and also you know the funny thing vimo i was watching the i saw the whole press conference of the india alliance that day mm. uh, three leaders i think lalu prasad yadav uh, i think one more two more people sitaram yachuri was one and another one they said Stalin. ki there is a high chance that early elections are going to happen uh, so we should be prepared for it and we are mm. already prepared for it so mm-hmm. they are already anticipating yeah, a yeah, yeah. moronic move like, like this yeah, yeah. which is i, I think, think the, the bjp has played the same stupid phata hua dhol for such a long time Hmm. and people are like nahi i i can anticipate that is going to do this now yeah absolutely uh but that's about uh, one nation one election guys uh what i'll do is i'll put this out as a separate video that was nice uh, thanks vimo <laughs> what was nice the, the whole conversation i wanted oh, okay. to also like do i like hardly a... contributed anything to it but i'm glad <laughs> i i'm glad uh, there is a uh, there was a old series called uh, uh, blossom right mm mm-hmm. ब्लॉसम में एक एपिसोड में ब्लॉसम जो लड़की है उसको शी हैज सम प्रॉब्लम एट स्कूल शी कम्स टू हर फादर एंड इट्स एसेंशियली कॉन्वर्सेशन दैट शी हैज विद हर सेल्फ राइट एंड द एंड शी कम्स टू द कंक्लूजन एंड शी सेज थैंक्स डैड एंड गोज अवे डैड इज लाइक वाओ आई मस्ट बी गुड ही हैज इन सेड अ सिंगल वर्ड बट बट थैंक यू एनीवे डैड फॉर डूइंग दिस मैं कहता आंखों की देखी तो कहता कागज की लेखी तेरा मेरा मरवा एक कैसे हो रे